In this video we're going to look at what you need to know about parabolas for a Conix NCA level 3 exam. We will be looking at the definition um, and the formulas in Cartesian and parametric form and we'll also look at three examples showing how we can find the equation in different situations. So what if we want to get the equation of a parabola in either Cartesian or parametric form? Well, what do we need to know? We need to know the coordinates of the apex. That will give us m and n. And obviously, if it's at the origin, they won't be there. So this will just become y squared minus 4ax. And we need to know the distance between the apex and the focus or the directrix and the apex because they're the same thing, or these two would take half the distance to give us our value of a. And that will give us the um, Cartesian form, and then we substitute for exactly the same things to get the parametric form. And I think you can see that if the parabola um, is on this side of the directrix or the focus on this side of the apex, then a would end up being negative. So let's find the equation of um, a parabola when we know the apex and the directrix. So in this one we've got the apex at a3 and the directrix at x equals 2. Well the distance between these two points is 6 and we know that that's going to be um, our a value here. So this will become 24, this will be 6 and this 2a will become 12. But we know the apex is at a3 and that's going to give us our m and n values. So here we've got them there, just take them directly from the apex. So this will become a 3 and this will become an 8 and the same thing will happen here. So that's going to give us the Cartesian equation um, here. And then using exactly the same substitutions, there is our parametric form. OK, so let's find the equation of a parabola where we're given the focus and the directrix, not the apex. So find the equation of a parabola with a focus at 10, 1 and directrix at um, x equals 10. Well, the distance between these two is negative 8 because the focus is actually on the left of the directrix. So the a value is always going to be half that because, the, uh, because obviously this distance is 2a like we saw on our first slide. So a is negative 4. Now remember, to get m and n, we need the coordinates of the apex. Well, that's nice. It's exactly halfway between these two points, and it will still be um, at a y value of 1. And halfway between 2 and 10 is just going to be the average of 2 and 10, so that's going to be 6. So that's going to give us m equals 6 and n equals 1. And now we substitute these values into this equation to get the Cartesian form and we substitute them into here to get the parametric form, making sure we keep these negative signs in. Okay, for our last example we're going to find the equation when we've got the focus and the apex. So the first thing we need is to find out a, so that's going to be the distance between these two points. a is going to be positive because the focus is to the right of the apex. So the distance is 2, so that means a is 2. We've got the coordinates of the apex, so that's going to give us our m and n values straight away. So we're now going to substitute a equals 2, m equals 2, and n equals 1 into this equation to give us our Cartesian form, and into this pair of equations to give us our parametric form. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.